This is the Urban Armor Gear Scout. I totally forgot that I bought this orange watch strap. This is the Urban Armor Gear Civilian. I like the Civilian. I do not like the Scout. It took me forever to figure out why I don't like it, but yeah, it's not good. To give you a hint, it's the same reason why I hate the Urban Armor Gear Silicone AirPod Pro case. And Mobile Reviews, a Monty and I base our reviews on actual usage. This channel is powered by Monty's beautiful looks. The UAG Scout is a silicone Apple watch trap that has antimicrobial properties. Sounds pretty cool, but it's not going to stop you from catching what everyone else is catching these days. But it's a feature, so I have to talk about it. The most noticeable thing for me on this watch strap is not the giant grooves on the front of the strap, but is the fact that it's only 20.5 millimeters wide, which is about 4 millimeters slimmer than Apple's own sport loops, a millimeter slimmer than Apple's own elastomer bands, as well as Urban Armor your civilian straps. Now it may not seem like much, but one millimeter does make a difference from my perspective anyways. Now like the civilian, Urban Armor Gear uses a custom buckle, which is absolutely badass, awesome, amazing from my perspective. And the lugs on the strap are above average in terms of fit. They fit way better than Spigen straps, uh, but they don't come close to Apple straps or the Mifa straps. And honestly, using this Urban Army Gear Scout after reviewing the Mifa straps was like a big step backwards in terms of comfort. Now here's the number one reason why I don't like this product is that the finish on the Urban Army Gear Scout is more aggressive than the Urban Army Gear rugged case for your AirPods. This product has the pocking pulling power of 9,000. This watch strap is over 9,000. Over 9,000! That's the main reason why I think this slate covered civilian is better than this orange scout. Because the slate colored pieces has a much smoother finish. And so it allows this to move around a little better than this. The scout will literally stay in one place after you put it on. Like I'm moving it now, but I'm actually just moving the skin that's stuck to the scout along my forearm. Like, ugh. Now, before I continue on about why this wash strap is just so annoying to me, there is a, a quick backstory. I got this wash strap, I think, two and a half months after I ordered it. So I ordered both these straps at the beginning of April, and I managed to get this strap within a couple of weeks. I managed to review it, break it, and then send in for a replacement. And this showed up before I got this. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Now the aggressive finish of this watch strap annoyed me throughout my entire day. Working on my laptop was annoying because the watch strap would always just get stuck on flat surfaces. It really felt like I was using an eraser and just trying to erase all the mistakes on a table. I might have permanently marked it up. You guys hear Monty breathing? The watch strap felt sweaty when I slept with it, and the ability to move around on your wrist gets really annoying while working out. There's nothing like having something jam into your wrist bone during a wad of overhead squats and toes to bar. Overhead squats because you're cranking your wrist like this, trying to lock out your shoulders and toes to bar because I my skin tears like tissue paper and so I have to use grips and this thing just kind of gets on the grips and you're just like, I hate this workout because I hate my watch strap. Now in the process of trying to figure out why I like this product more than I like this product, I went and worked out with both of them again. And during my last workout before doing this review, I totally realized why this product was better because of the finish on the strap. Now I do have to show you the back of the civilian. This orange part is almost as sticky. This orange part's actually closer to the orange of the silicone case. It's still pretty aggressive, but not that bad. But it's the uh, slate colored bits that aren't as tacky or sticky. And just having that extra little area where it doesn't like just stick to your skin makes a world of difference. And Speaking of a world of difference, remember I said that the strap being a millimeter thicker made a difference? Well, it's because being a little thinner and not moving, it really feels like someone's just pinching my wrist all the time. It's just so bad. And so I am so glad to be able to take this off my Apple Watch, my daily driver Apple Watch, Series 5, Series 4. I'm gonna put the civilian on back because I can't take wearing that anymore. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. I do product reviews. This is the end of the, uh, one of the last videos, the isolation video series. So I don't know when's the next time that I'm gonna do an Apple Watch strap review. They're not terribly uh, popular based on what I've done. I've got a few more, so I don't know what we'll do with it all next. Oh yeah, if you're gonna buy this product, don't. Go to the link in the description section below, check out the review for the uh, civilian and get that product instead. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's not good beer. 
and we'll buy reviews. I do it now. And we'll buy reviews. And we'll buy reviews. A Monty and I base our reviews on actual usage. This channel is powered by Monty's looks and my picks. Can 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 you do it? Can 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 you do it? Can 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 you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Can. And if that doesn't look good at all, it doesn't sound good at all, and it didn't feel good doing it, we'll use this one. This channel is powered by Monty's beautiful looks. Oh my God.